began gradually to look at the psychiatry completely from the perspective of trauma. Since the millennium I have been treating traumatized individuals only. Nowadays I consider myself treating people that all have a dissociative disorder. We think that considering the future of psychiatry and also in society, it is really crucial whether we increase our understanding on how traumatizing experiences are contained in an individual, how they shape one's life and identity, what trauma memories are like and how they vary, how trauma still after decades affect human behavior. Probably psychiatry cannot develop very far without perceiving the implications of emotional trauma and recognizing it as the essential cause of psychological disorders. Trauma-informed treatment is founded on a solid theoretical understanding on how trauma affects the human organism, also shaping the structure and functioning of the nervous system. Understanding this is transformational. Unfortunately, the current psychiatric diagnosis applied today can even further conceal trauma, as can treatment that is pharmaceutically focused. Any kind of effective model of treatment that improves the prognosis of these patients is important. Treating trauma takes a lot of time, but it can be very productive. In simple terms, the theory of structural dissociation describes how trauma is concealed, and the polyvagal theory accounts for how we as humans behave and physically react regarding safety, threat, or lethal danger. The most simple and cost-efficient improvement in all activities aiming to promote mental health would be recognizing the importance of safe interaction and setting this understanding as the objective of all treatment. Trauma theories are helpful in all practical work. They can intrinsically increase the feeling of safety in both the patient and the professional and promote success in interactions. Without applying them, it may be difficult or even impossible to recognize and face a concealed trauma. Psychiatry doesn't always value hope as much as it should, because realistic hope is very efficient form of safety. Trauma can be healed.